Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.14 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is, use the node voltage method to find the total power dissipated in the circuit in figure P4.14. Okay, we are asked to use node voltage method. So we will use this node here as our ground. So the voltage here will be 0. And let's use this node here as node A. And this node here as node B. And then this node here as node C. Okay, maybe let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe it's going to the right, going down, goes to the right, goes to the left, and then goes down, and this is goes to the left because I just follow the arrow of the current. And then. Okay, let's do KCL at not A. Let's do KCL at not A. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, and maybe let's check this note here. This is 30 volt from the ground, so this is 30. And the current that goes in into node A is just this current here. Oh, there are two currents, this current and this current here. So for this current, we will have 30 minus Va. 30 minus Va. And then divided by 15. Okay. And then this current here. This current, I mean this current here is 4 ampere. So I will have plus 4. And then that will equal to, this current here is going out. So I will have Va over 31.25. And then this current here is going out. So I will have plus Va minus Vb divided by 25. Okay, maybe let's take a note here. That 31.5, okay, 31.25 is equal to 125 over 4. You can try it by using calculator. And so we can replace this by 125 over 4. Or we can move that 4 to the numerator. So we will have 4 VA over 125. Okay, we will have 15, 125, and 25 here. Let's multiply all the sides by 375. 375. So we can get rid of all of the denominator. So we will have this one here. 375 multiplied by 30 is 375 multiplied by 30. That will be 11 to 50. So we'll have 11 to 50. And then we'll, this 15 and 375 will cancel into 25. So we'll have 25 VA. And then plus 4 multiplied by 375. And we will have 1500. So we'll have 1500. And then that will equal to this 125 and 375 will cancel into 3. So we will have 12 VA. 12 VA. And then we will have plus. We will have 15 VA. Then minus 15 VB. Okay. And so we can add up the left hand side there. So we will have 100, 250 plus 1500. So we will have 12, 12, 750. And then that will equal to 40, 52. Okay, we will have 52, right? 52 VA. 
and then minus 15 pb and i think we cannot do anything more here so maybe let's move that to the right hand side so we have 52 pa minus 15 pb and that will equal to 12 750 and this will be equation number one okay let's move on to equation number two which is derived from kcl at node b so we will have kcl at node b Okay, and then KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. And so we will have the current that goes in, this one and this one. So we will have PA minus VB. PA minus VB divided by 25 and then this current is going in and that will be plus one ampere and that will equal to this current is going out that will be four and then plus we will have pb over vc divided by 50 pb minus vc divided by 50 and this nine we can just multiply it by 50 and what can we get from here i think we will have 2 pa and then minus 2 pb and then plus 50 and then equal to 200 and then plus pb minus pc pb minus pc okay so we will have 2 pa minus 3 pb and then plus vc and that will equal to 150 okay let's save this as equation number two so now we uh, we have two equation with two variables we still need one more variables okay let's do exactly that okay so far we get these two equation from kcl at not a and not b now we still need to do another KCL this time at node C. So let's do that. KCL at node C. And again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. And then the current that goes in is this one here. Yeah, I think this one here, only this one. Okay, maybe let's assume this direction of the current maybe it goes to the left so the only current that goes in is this one so we will have pb minus pc divided by 50 okay pb minus pc divided by 50 and that will equal to this current is going out so i will have pc minus zero divided by 50 but then we also have this current here that goes out from node C and that value is 1 ampere and now let's multiply both sides by 50 so we will have Vb minus Vc and this one will be Vc and then plus 50 so we will have Vb minus 2 Vc divided by 50 and this is equation number three so we can solve uh, three equation with three variables let's do that with calculator so we can get pa vb and vc let's do exactly that set up our equation as equation solver which is number five and two three variables is number two and let's plug the value so i will have 52 and then minus 15 and then zero and then 12 750 okay the second equation that will be two minus three and then pc is one and then that will equal to 150 and then this value of pa is zero so i'll have zero and then pb is one so i will have one 
and then minus 2 so we will have minus 2 minus minus 2 okay and then 50 okay let's solve that okay we will have our VA here maybe let's put it in red VA is 292.5 okay that will be VA VA is 292.5 volt and then what is VB? VB will be 164 volt. Okay, and then what is VC? VC is 57. VC is 57 volt. Okay, we got all the voltage, but the question is asked about power. Okay, maybe let's clean up our board and let's solve that. Okay, let's find out the total power dissipated. Total power dissipated. Remember that the power is equal to V squared over R, right? So the first thing is this 15 ohm resistor. Okay, the power dissipated will be all of the resistor, right? So let's do P total. P total. Let's start from that 15 ohm resistor. The voltage is 30 minus VA. So we will have 30 minus VA. And then that will be need to be squared divided by 15. Right? That is from this resistor. And now let's focus on this resistor here, which is VA minus VB squared divided by 25 VA minus VB squared divided by 25 and then plus okay maybe this resistor here first and that will be VA minus 0 so we'll have VA squared then divided by 31 Point twenty five. Then what else? We will have this 15, 50 ohm resistor. That will be Vb minus Vc divided squared divided by fifty. And then plus, we will have this resistor here, which is Vc minus zero divided by fifty. So we'll have Vc squared divided by 50 okay maybe let's just plug the value of VA, VB and VC let's set up this as this so we will have the first fraction here 30 minus VA which is 30 minus 292.5 but then it's square divided by 15 okay and then the second fraction here so we will have VA minus VB. So we'll have 292.5 minus VB, 164 squared. And then divided by 25. And then VA squared. So we will have VA. VA is 292.5 squared. And then divided by, oh, that should be in fraction, right? So we'll have 292.5 squared divided by 31.25. And then plus another fraction here. So we'll have VB minus VC, 164 minus... 57 squared divided by 50 and then plus PC squared so I will have can we do this 57 okay 57 divided squared okay 57 squared oh that is already maximum right let's let's add them out add them out first 
and then we still need to have this vc squared so i will have that vc squared so i'll have 57 squared divided by 50. <coughs> okay and we will have one two one eight two eight six okay so we'll have p total is a two eight six and the unit will be one or we can use kilowatt so we'll have eight point two eight six kilowatt and this is the total power dissipated by the resistor on on the circuit okay that's all thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye